Welcome back to another episode on B Horror Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at my gaming setup and whether it's time to rely on the PS5 and Xbox Series X instead of my trusty old PC. Being primarily a console gamer, the first time I ever thought that I should invest more in a PC was during the Xbox 360 generation. The game that truly opened my eyes and still is one of my favorite series of all time started with Dragon Age Origins, developed by BioWare. Already a huge fan with Star Wars The Old Republic, I quickly purchased the Xbox 360 version of Dragon Age Origins. It definitely played very differently, but I still pushed to eventually beat the game with my Grey Warden. With a friend of mine showing me the same game running on his PC as we were both huge fans of Dragon Age was the very first time I saw the difference between console and PC. I was blown away by the resolution, textures, and overall visual fidelity of the game. The visuals were so crisp and clear, it was felt that the 360 version was being played without glasses and completely blurry and soft to the eye. The only con I saw was with no controller or support on the PC version was played with a mouse and keyboard. But against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the South has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the King a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. That we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. Since that moment, I would generally have two systems at a time, an upgraded PC, and a console from either Microsoft or Sony, but never all three until recently, of course. I figured that I couldn't play exclusively, usually came out on PC with Steam, Epic, and GOG games with the PS3 and PS4 exclusive games, finally prompting me to buy a PS5, along with the Xbox Series X. Anything in the PS3 to early PS4 and Xbox 360 to Xbox One generation, I found that my PC was able to push to 4K, 30 to 60 frames per second, and 1440p and more in comparison to the, on the consoles. With the addition of the USB support with the Xbox 360 wired controller, the PC was set to be my favorite co choice for gaming. With a shortage of GPUs and the COVID pandemic still causing issues around the world, graphic cards with both AMD and NVIDIA have both skyrocketed to enormous heights, leaving a lot of PC gamers on older hardware waiting for the prices to go down. Welcome to the console market once again with technology finally catching up with the PS5 and Series X. Granted, the top PCs can still push today's standards even further, I don't want to spend over $1,000 just to increase my frame rate with ray tracing. I'm still on the fence and ray tracing is worth it with all the GPU power that it takes since I don't game at looking at still images. A great example that my AMD 3700X paired with an RX 580 can still dish it out was with Death Stranding which being optimized very nicely for PC. I tested the PS4 Pro version of Death Stranding and found that even at 1080p with ultra settings on a PC can look very similar and play better at 60 frames per second on a PC versus a 1440p version of the on the PS5. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls let up. My name is Fragile. Yeah, I've heard of you. <laughs> that right? Confirm you're headed the right way. Check your compass. It'll never steer you wrong. Provided you have a destination, that is. Hands down, 
not including the PS5 update, the game plays better on PC and with the same crisp visuals at a 1080p at 60 frames per second. Then later, I took a look at other games like Cyberpunk 2077. You find that the power needed to play that on PC far exceeds what my PC can do consistently without hiccups on the Series X and or PS5. I found that even besides that, more and more games, not cross-generation with the Xbox One or PS4, have shown that consoles are beginning to have the upper hand at their price point. Got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. Alright, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Even with Kenna, Bridge of Spirits, playing at a 1440p and 1080p of the highest settings on a PC, still gave a very crisp output visually and playing great at 60 plus frames per second. Still a cross-gen game, but I thoroughly still enjoy the PC more than it on console. Recently now, playing a Plague Tale Requiem, either the game needs to be optimized better or it truly pushes for next generation of games. Outputting at 1440p at 30 frames per second on a Series X. I found that my PC could handle 60 frames per second, but only at the low settings at 1080p. Your mother's going to wonder where we are. It's been a long road. You have the right to stretch your legs. <sighs> yes. Amicia! Look at that. Let's go see! Yeah! All right then, <laughs> time to run. Hugo, you're gonna sweat like a hog. I am sweating like a hog. <laughs> it's good for you. Bumping the settings to medium or high can cause huge stuttering and loss of frame rate. The smoothest way to play this game is going to be on consoles. In the end, I still love my PC, but if I want to play at 60 frames per second for the next generation of gaming, I probably need to stick with the lower priced but very capable console market with a Series X and PS5. My good old AMD 3700X paired with an RX 580 st will still give me great results with older generations of gaming or much less powerful gaming titles until GPU prices go down significantly it looks like my future of gaming will solely be on Xbox Series X and my PS5. That's it for my look at PC and consoles today. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. There it is. Let's hope this fort isn't as crowded as their sanctuary. It surely doesn't sound as appealing. Damn. Uh. Yeah.